So that's I can do everything for me, you know. Look at these. Life moves on, stuff breaks down, people fall off. <clears throat> Gotta find a way to get over. Gotta find a way to get through, break through, hear you. Struggles they last, but as time passes, it's been one thing after the other. I don't always know the right way to I don't always know what to say But all I know is something happens When I pray I know I can reach you when I pray I know I can reach you when I call your name You're never too busy for me You're never too busy for me When I oh Find myself at the end of the road Looking for it and I see a fork in the road Well if I know which way to go I feel so alone Life is so so cold mm -hmm. I'm not very eloquent in speech I don't always know the sound Holy when I speak Papa told me when something happens When I pray I know I can get through when I pray. I know I can reach you when I call on your name. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. You know you. Mm -hmm. I know I can reach you when I call on your name. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. I know you would never leave me dry It's not in your nature to turn away When the young bull pray When I cry I know you would never leave me empty It's not in your nature to turn away From the young bull when I pray I know I can get through when I pray. I know I can reach you when I call on your name. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. I know I can get through when I pray. I know I can reach you when I call on your name. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. I know I can get through when I pray. I know I can reach you when I pray. You're never too busy for me. You're never too busy for me when I pray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well. Greetings. Hello. How y'all been? It's been quite some time, I know, but uh, I'm happy to be here yet once again. And uh, we're going over this word, sharing the word with you. Uh, we give all praise, honor, and glory to uh, Jehovah for allowing this opportunity to, to be able to do this. Do this. And so um, we started a song with, with, with um, uh, when I pray by by Doe. So uh, let's start this with prayer. How about that? Uh, Heavenly Father, we come to you. We give you praise, honor, thanks, and glory, Father. We ask that you examine us. Anything that is not like you, Father, we ask that you uh, remove it from our presence, from within us, Father, and fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father. Father, we ask that you take control, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. We ask that as the word goes forth, Father, that you allow it to, to fall on the, the, the uh, ears of those that are willing to hear, Father, and those that are not willing to hear, Father, open their ears so they can hear. Remove the eye salve from their eyes so they can see, Father. 
make their desensitivity sensitize them father so that they can touch your so they can feel your heavenly touch father father let your words fall on their lips and and come from their mouth uh, out of their belly as the living water father father we thank you right now we ask that you uh, move in this moment and in this time father for your people need to hear your word and 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 acknowledge your word for what it is meant to be and father we ask that you steer our hearts steer our minds father so that we may be directed towards you and give you worship and honor you father and worship you in spirit and in truth father we thank you for this right now we thank you for those things that you will do for you know how to open any door that no man can close and you know how to close every door that no man would be able to open father and father we let we ask that your will be done on earth we ask that your will father take control of our life and, and that our life be those that witness to others father and be a testimony for your salvation father we give you praise honor thanks and glory by your mighty name we pray in yeshua's name amen so uh yes indeed um so we know that it's been quite some time and uh well we're not going to dwell on that we're just going to move forward and uh allow the spirit the holy spirit to to move uh, uh among us and and speak through uh me in this in this hour so um i know uh what where we had left off at it was uh basically uh we were talking about um uh uh, proper nutrition, eating uh, right, um, time to eat good, spiritually improving our diets. Um, that was the um, um, word that we were we left off on, and we're continuing in that uh, because um, uh, with that series, it was some things that were left out there hanging, and um, we definitely need to um, uh, cover those things. Um, and so. <sighs> What happens when, when we uh, improve our spiritual diet, we begin to consume uh, what the Holy Spirit actually intends for his people to consume. And, uh, and when we consume what he intends for us to consume, we, do, we no longer uh, uh, have a con contaminated uh, dietary plan. Uh, that dietary plan uh, speaking spiritually um, adheres to the word and not to the world and so that's that's where we at when we're talking about spiritually improving our diets um, and uh, it was a few uh, pointers that uh, that were brought up in the last couple of lessons that um, I know that that I'm aware that we did not um, cover and one of those uh, I know I mentioned um, about the names of uh, uh, Shat Daniel, Shatrat, Meshach, and Abednego, and I told you guys that um, that those were not their names, um, and so I don't. At that point in time, I wasn't I, I wasn't aware of why I even brought that up, but if I'm going to bring it up, I like to actually have uh, scriptural support for that. So um, at that time, I wasn't able to, and so now I'm going to read in scripture and show you that. Uh, that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not uh, originally the names of those uh, three Hebrew boys. That's what we were taught when we were growing up. Daniel and three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So, um, and you're going, and you're probably asking like, why even you bring that up? Well, you'll see. Um, we will see uh, why that was brought up. Like I said, when I brought it up, I didn't even know. Um, I have an idea now why, but we will see uh, as the Holy Spirit leads and guides us in this in this lesson here. Uh, so I'm going to start reading in, in the in the book of Daniel, uh, the first the first chapter and the first verse. And um, it's not much, but uh, we're just going to touch on a few uh, verses here, and then we're going to keep going with this thing. So Daniel, the book of Daniel, first chapter, first verse says this. It says, "In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah." Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And Jehovah gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the articles of the house of Yah, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the articles into the treasure of his God. Now Shinar 
um it's actually uh that 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 region of babylon um that that uh that uh was so influential in this time frame where it it had actually taken the people of Jehovah uh in captivity uh um uh it also correlates with um Ur where Abraham came out of uh, uh Ur of the Chaldees um so let's keep going uh verse 3 and the king instructed Ashpenaz the master of the eunuchs to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles, young men in whom there was no blemish, but good looking, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge and quick to understand, who had ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. So I told you that Shinar and Chald Chaldeans, um, Chaldees of the Ur, Ur of the Chaldees is, is all um, in the same vicinity, in the same region. Of, of, of one another um, and the king appointed for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and the wine which he drank and three years of training for them so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king now from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel Hananiah Mishael and Azariah say that again from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel Hananiah Mishael and Azariah Where's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Anyway, verse 7. To them, the chief of the units gave names. He gave Daniel the name of Belshazzar, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and Azariah, Abednego. So we see here where the, the, the eunuchs that served the king of Babylon. Uh, so he was under this, this Babylonian uh, uh, um, type of uh, mentality, uh, Babylonian influence. Uh, that's, that's the way that... He did things, they did things to eunuchs and the king of Babylon. Um, and uh, as you see, that uh, they didn't serve Jehovah, for they even took uh, uh, the king of Jehoiakim, uh, um, king of Judah, uh, when they um, besieged uh, Jerusalem, they took the articles of the house of Yah and carried them into the house of their own God. And, and 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 the articles into the treasure of their God. Now, they also didn't have just one particular God. They 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 worship many gods. Okay, and so but this this particular um, uh, institution that they 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 took the the articles of Jehovah into after they besieged Jer Jerusalem, they took it into um, this 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 um, um, this place of worship for whatever particular God there was that they wanted dedicated to that building. Okay. And so, um, that's what happened there. But the thing about it, they will have, they had that type of influence. They also want to take the influence and impose it upon, uh, the people of Jehovah, uh, the people that they besieged, that they, that they captive and, and, and basically brought them into their land to become slaves. Um, uh, so what happens there is that they give these guys a different name. They call them by something that they were not originally called or named when they were born. Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was the Babylonian names that were given to uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And also Daniel was given the name Belshazzar. This is what scripture tells us. This is that point that I was really bringing out um, when, when I um, brought that point up weeks back. Um, and so I um, just wanted to extract that for someone that actually needed some guidance or, or um, preferred guidance in, in that to see that what I was saying uh, was indeed so. Uh, so continuing though, verse 8 says this, it says, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now Yah had brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the, of the chiefs of the eunuchs. And the chiefs of the eunuch 
And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear, my lord, the king who has appointed your food and drink. I fear, my lord, the king who has appointed your food and drink. But why should he see your faces looking worse than the young men who are of your age? Then you would endanger your head before the king. So Daniel said to the steward whom the chief of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. That's what there was though their original names, not the Babylonian names. But anyway, um, please test the service for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be examined for you and the appearance of the young men who eat the portion of the king's delicacy as you see fit. So deal with your service. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their features appeared better and fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Thus the steward took away their portion of delicacies and the wine and they, that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. Basically, he started giving them the dietary plan that Daniel... Uh, Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah were um, um, consuming. So, um, now that's the physical e uh, essence of it. Now, when, when we apply this to our lives spiritually, we see that whatever... Babylon, we know what Babylon stands for, uh, the, 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 the evil influence that, that comes from Satan. Um, whatever they had uh, is by Jehovah's people are rejected. And when you reject that form of consumption, you take what is healthier for you physically as we see in the word, and spiritually we're speaking of what's more healthy for us to um, dwell in the land of blessing. Um, and so, just to bring up that point where how uh, the Shinar and, and Ur is all tied together, um, in the book of Genesis, you see where uh, when you talk about uh, when when the word begins to talk about um, Noah's descendants, and uh, and it says in in chapter ten of Genesis where Cush begot Nimrod, and um, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, Akkad, Kalna in the land of Shinar. So Shinar was this 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 enclosed well this open territory of Babylon um, and Shinar even went into Nineveh you think about Nineveh where Jonah uh, was was told to go into Nineveh and speak to those people and tell them to turn from their wicked ways um, Nineveh was an evil place and Nineveh was the same uh, area as you see as the word says that that that's where Nineveh branched off from Babylon. It branched off from um, Kalna and, and uh, 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 Ur of the Chaldees. Um, but what, he, what, what we have to con, um, receive from this is that Jehovah wants his people to come up out of Babylon. Now, yes, in, in Daniel's time, they were taken captivity. They were taken captive. And uh time of Abraham, uh connect Shinar and Ur, uh Chaldees, um it was instructed by by him and his people to come up out of that uh area. Uh chapter eleven of Genesis has it here where it says where chapter eleven verse twenty seven, this is the genealogy of Terah. Terah begot Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Haran begat not Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in his native land in Ur of the Chaldeans. So, um, Chaldea, Ur, Babylon, Nineveh, all of this was a, a, a metropolis. Okay? It's a metropolis. And so, <coughs> and this metropolis was, was, um, uh, 
um, was an environment of evilness. Okay. Um, the environment of evilness that the people in that region had a poor spiritual diet and it it affected them uh, that way so what I was trying to turn to is Jonah just to give us another eye on um, what what's hap what this region really stood for and Jonah chapter 1 it says now the word of Jehovah came to Jonah the son of Amittai and arise and go to Nineveh, Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. So this was a land, a territory of wickedness. Um, and so what Daniel um, and his his uh, counterparts were in the midst of was the evilness that 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 uh, consisted of Babylon, and what that example is, um, is that they chose not to eat of the delicacies that were provided for them, which came from uh, uh, a ruler of wickedness. Naturally speaking of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, spiritually speaking of Satan. Okay, um, so. <clears throat> That's the fact of that matter. And what happened with the example there is for us that when they began to, when they were eating um, what was healthier for them, um, <clears throat> we can see in a spiritual sense that, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the appearance would be better and fatter in the flesh than all the other um, individuals that do not uh, consume a healthy spiritual diet, a diet that's not of contamination or adulteration, spiritual adultery. And so um, um, a pure um, diet. That's what um, Peter talks about. He says that as, 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 uh, children we are to crave the pure sincere milk by that we may ma grow and mature thereof and so um that's what that's what we must consume in order to mature and grow in the fullness of the messiah the fullness that the messiah has intended for his people to actually mature in so um there, there's there's a ceiling now people might get mad at me for saying this but there's a ceiling that 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 we are held in bondage of if we continue in the ways of the world if we continue to uh, consume the worldly practices that are um, instituted in our cultures no matter what culture you are any culture all around the world um, there, there is a plateau that 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 it, it it can't be exceeded. Okay, um. But Jehovah is calling for us to go into higher heights and deeper depths, and so uh, the deep calls out to deep. And so, yeah, what I'm speaking on may be a little deep, but that is what Jehovah. Uh, prefers for his people as the word says and so um moving forward it was another thing that uh i i mentioned a weeks back we were talking about how um where this uh spiritual consumption um in order to do that to get on a dietary plan, the dietary if you, if anybody has ever been on a dietary plan, um, yes, I need to get on a dietary plan. But usually, dietary plans have like begins as day one, 
and then it goes progressive from day two, day three, day whatever the, the plan, however long the plan is set, right? And so, in order to get on this 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 um, dietary schedule, um, we must be in sync with what Jehovah has established, okay? With what He has established, um, He established. Um, a particular way for his people to um, apply their lifestyles in their dedication to him. Okay? Um, and one of the commandments, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Um, and that Sabbath, the Sabbath really comes in sequence to present to us the gifts of his uh, appointed times, his feast days. And so, yes, to to truly acknowledge those in the fullness of, of grace and truth, we have to get on the right track, okay? And um, that of that dietary plan to be able to feast with, not with Babylon, but we will feast upon the delicacies that Jehovah has laid up for us the treasures right and so um now when, when we mention the sabbath a lot of people think about the sabbath as being uh saturday or well in in the christian dialect uh the sabbath is is sunday well uh as i mentioned before it's it's neither one it's not saturday or sunday well, how do you say that? That it's neither Saturday nor Sunday, um, because in the narrative of the Bible, talking about the days of Abraham, talking about the days of Noah, talking about the days of Mo Moses, talking about the days of um, of the, these people that lived. That they have the example of the word for us to establish a foundation. In their days, it was no Saturday, no such thing as a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, matter of fact, the days uh, were not named at that point in time; they were numbered. Um. Uh, and the evening and the morning were the first day, and the evening and the morning was the second day, and the evening and the morning was the third day, and so on and so on. Um, and so. That is what, um, that is the sequence that it went upon to identify um, the days. Uh, 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 and so, what what happens with that is that presenting the Sabbath um, is not. It could. It was impossible to be. Saturday or Sunday as we see it as Saturday or Sunday uh, if there was no such thing happening as naming them naming those days the Sabbath day was identified as what Genesis 1 and 14 says for says to to identify it um, uh, the more deemed the appointed times uh, uh, Genesis one fourteen Let there be lights and firm out of heaven to buy the day for the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And so this is this is how the seasons were identified. This is how the days were identified. Um uh it was identified by what Jehovah had given us to have the ability to identify it. Um, it wasn't a premonition of a uh, of written down calendar or uh, um, reverence to um, material things to bring forth a time of worship um so well how do we get the saturday um 
to the Saturday and Sunday agenda that that's there. Well, the 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 days began to be named after, just like uh, Babylon was influential to bring it in. Um, if you um, can recall what what Daniel spoke to Nebuchadnezzar about the dream that he had about that statue. He said, you are that statue, the, the head of gold, um, Babylon, uh, meat and purge, uh, the torso. Um, um, uh, I mean, the shoulders and the, the uh, you talk about, what is it? It's, it's Babylon. It's uh, Medes and Purs. It's uh, Romans. Um, those, those, uh, tears that are given in the, uh, statue that, uh, Daniel was, uh, telling Nebuchadnezzar that this is, this is, th these were empire ruling, worldly empires that were ruling, uh, in consecutive, um, uh, dynasties, uh, so what you have is uh, reverence to days, well, reverence to gods depicted by identifying each day that they brought up where they would say that, um, uh, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, as we know it, um, there were um, reverence to those days as, well, the Babylons basically started it as identifying um, st stars, what we call planets. Monday, Mars, uh, uh, Mars Day, um, uh, Saturday, Saturn's Day, uh, um, things of that such, right? And so, well, what ends up happening in the dynasty of uh, of, of the uh, consecutive uh, uh, empires that took over? they began to adopt this same practice. And instead of naming them um, uh, in accordance to um, stars, planets, they began to name them in reverence and honor to, to uh, particular gods. Uh, and so you have where uh, they still would take like Monday, Moon Day, Tuesday, uh, two, uh, uh, the uh, Tyre, uh, Norse god of war. Now Norse mythology comes into that 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 Greek that Medes and Pers, um, era, um, and it also it, it is piggybacked in, into Roman uh, mythology where they identified it with their own particular god of that day. And Wednesday, um, wooden, wooden. Now. And, and so when you take that one, um, the other days were actually identified by his sons, um, Thor uh, uh, um, uh, and, and Tyr. And, and Friday, Thor was for Thursday. Friday was for Frigg or Frigg's Day, which is the wife of Odin. So they, they began to name these days after uh, gods and reverencing them. Um, to those gods. Sunday was to the god of the sun, the sun god. Um, and there are different religions that, that, that went into that uh, parameter of worshiping the sun, the S-U-N, instead of the S-O-N. So that's where you get um, on on the, the point where uh, Saturday and Sunday were identified after uh, particular um, gods that were chosen by cultures to, to reverence. So, <clears throat> that's how they began to name the days.
That's how they begin to honor the days. That's how they begin to reverence the days. And uh, by the year uh, 321, Emperor Constantine came up with this uh, mandate that uh, all of Rome is now Christian and we will worship on the venerable day of the sun. Now, I had uh, assigned uh, you guys some homework um, talking about the venerable. I suppose I had looked up what the vener what venerable meant. What venerable means um, of, of of great respect, of, of reverenced. Um, why was venerable day of the sun? Think about. It. Take a minute and and examine that phrase that Constantine used. The venerable day of the sun. It was a day that the sun was worshipped. And we're not talking about S O N. We're talking about S U N. That's um, 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 so. That's how Sunday Sabbath was established. Saturday Sabbath was uh, established where <clears throat> the Sanhedrin court were forced to decide upon a day to say that that would be their Sabbath. Um, and uh, Saturday was chosen. After this is after the, the 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 days were condensed down to seven days. At one point, the days were eight. It was eight days on on a on, on a calendar week. So so um, how in fact could the Sabbath be be uh, projected throughout that time with time frame consistently, um, and and be correct right? And so um. Uh, so what happened when, like I was saying, with, with um, the, the Sanhedrin court, when they actually decided to um, make Saturday their Sabbath instead of uh, Sunday, um, the Council of Laodicea came years after that um, and, and, and came up with, with, um, with the canon that Christians must not Judaize with the Jews, and so it, it, it brought a separation. Um, by you know Judaize with the Jews by resting on the Sabbath. Now, this is when the Sabbath was solely uh, adhered to as Saturday. Um, so all of that was going on. All of it was actually a tactic by the enemy to get the people of Jehovah off track to uh, not adhere to the, 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 the simple commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's why it was foreseen that it's a possibility we may forget it, that we were told to remember it. Um, so, <clears throat> with that being said, how do we get on track? How do we identify the, the biblical Sabbath? Um, how did they do it uh, in the in that era of Abraham, Moses, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, um, uh, Noah, and um, Enoch? How did they identify the biblical Sabbath? Um, like I said, they identified it with what Jehovah had given to them to be able to identify it. Now, think about it. Unless it's um, like... Uh, um, a particular day that the the weather is 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 funky, right? If it's clear clear skies, uh, uh partly cloudy or, or or not cloudy at all, the day that we call the day, it looks the same: bright, sunny, blue sky. The sun, the sun never changes; it looks the same, right? Can't even look at it, really. You're going to blind yourself if you keep trying to look at the sun. Um, it looked the same. But there's something different about the evening time. The evening in the morning was the first day. It's something significant about the evening time. That, that is something distinct about it that makes it different than what the day is. Because when the evening time, when the moon comes out, there, and I'm not talking about moon's day when you worship the moon. Um, we're not worshiping the actual 
creation here. Um, but uh, when the when the when the moon comes out, it has phases to it, and those phases change throughout the days of the calendar month. Uh, if you go to calendar.com, um, history of the calendar calendar.com history of the calendar you'll see this is what it says it said if a calendar is out of sync with the seasons remember this is what Genesis 114 had established for us to keep up with the seasons but calendar.com says this if a calendar is out of sync with the seasons it's out of sync with the stars and the movement of the moon like I said the moon is what has those phases to identify how to keep track of the biblical calendar um, but, um, uh, what happened, um, um, during Babylonian exile, uh, do, during Assyrian exile, during, um, uh, Roman exile, um, uh, um, during, um, a Persian takeover, Medes and Persians takeover, um, it was a, it was a tactic of the enemy to, transfer our way of thinking into their way of thinking and if we be honest they were successful at it uh, and it's going to take some work to get through it this is not something that you can say oh this is how it's done let me start right now and and and, and do it it's 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 steps to it okay that's why, um, you know, a lot of people might say that, oh, man, he talks good, but I can't sit there and listen to all of that. Oh, it's too deep. It's a reason why we have to go through this and actually um, get to the land of Canaan, the promised land, the promise that Jehovah has for us. You know, we have to walk through that wilderness um, uh, and be patient. Uh, it, it love is patient, love is kind, it's not boastful, um, and so it's not one of those things where we point the finger and rah 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 and say you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. It's time for us to 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 uh, take upon, pick up our own cross, encourage one another, and 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 uh, 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 um, progress through this journey together. Okay, um, so uh, that's how we will be able to get on the track of the biblical calendar. And once we are on track of the biblical calendar, we are able to then um, timely acknowledge the appointed festivals that Jehovah has for his people. The festivals that he has for his people are are rewards. The festivals he has for his people are are, are, are times of refreshment, um, spiritual refreshment. Um, and we might say that we get that uh, doing it our own way or doing it the traditional way, but there is some constriction there if it's not biblical. All right. Let let let's let's be clear about that. There is there is there is there's is some type of manipulation that has tarnished our worship if we're not utilizing and applying our way of worship, our lifestyle the way that Jehovah has instructed us to. Okay? So it's uh, it's about getting on track to to of, of this nutritional diet to be able to feast with Jehovah in in when heaven rejoices. Heaven has a schedule. Um heaven is established. Uh and Jehovah's will according to his word, should be done on earth as it is in heaven. We need to be mindful of that. So if we are not on track with how Jehovah has established things, there is something wrong with it. 
whether we were willing to admit it or not. Um, so, so that is our purpose of taking this journey. That to some people seems that is that is, that is too much to bear, and 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 the sun is beaming down on you, and you you're out there in the wilderness and desert, and you don't know where to go. Uh, our purpose is to get back on track with keeping the biblical Sabbath in order to acknowledge the feast days in their timely season. Um, like I said, Genesis 1.14 speaks of that's what he, 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 he gave in order for the, the people of the world, actually, not the world, but of the world, of this, of this planet to actually um, keep in line with the appointed times, with the Moedim, for times and for seasons. Um, now, the the Bible is 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 is, is wonderful. For one thing, yeah, for, for for lack of words to even say about it. But one thing about the Bible, it always has a way to um, back itself up. Don't worry about me backing me up. As long as the Bible backs itself up, that's all we worried about. Okay. Um, but Genesis one fourteen we talk about how the 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 uh, what Jehovah has given us in the, the 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 skies, the greater light and the lesser light, to 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 keep these appointed times that He has given to us, He has gifted to us. It's a gift, and we're not even everybody looking. For, I know now it's Halloween, and people shouldn't be doing that. We're not gonna get on that right now, but um, you know. Once that ends, it's going to transfer right over into Christmas, you know. Um, and so that's one of those things where we have to know where to direct our concentration towards. Um, our concentration of worship. Um, and it's worshiping those things there. But um, Psalms. 104 and 19. That's right. Psalms 104 and 19. Yeah. Psalms 104 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. So, Jehovah, just going, let's backtrack a little bit. We brought up Genesis 1 14, how, how that applies. Well, Psalms 104 and 19 supports that. The Bible has its own way of supporting itself. It's not going to lead us astray and say, oh, just this one thing is going to... Um, by the witness of two or three, uh, let, it, let it be so. Um, so... Um, this is this is the Bible supporting itself in that. All right. Um, I believe that's all I'm gonna say right now. I don't even know what what. Uh, what I was about to say about the, the particular holiday, but maybe they'll come back up to me and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it at another time. But like I say, a lot of times I just say stuff and I don't even know why I brought it up and it comes up and, and um, it's a reason for it. Um, and so, well, I pray that this, this, this message has been a blessing to you. Uh, 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 I pray that it, it, it falls on um, ears that, 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 are receptive to the word of Jehovah. Uh, please, please go in and and um, examine the word for yourself. Um, it's time out for us just just going the traditional way. Um, yes, I know it's uncomfortable to 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 do that to 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 go against the grain. Um, but if you if you really really examine the word, you see that. Throughout the, the Bible, there are examples of uh, people that were devoted to Jehovah, that went against the grain, that did not stick to the traditional way and the customs that the people of the world uh, adhered to. Um, and so that's what we need to be mindful of. 
uh, yes, uh, it's kind of like thinking outside of the box, okay? Um, and, and people are like, well, we, we have a way of, of doing things. Well, if it's not biblical, there's got to be something wrong with it. Um, and now somebody might hear this and they don't, they're not even believing. They say, well, your truth ain't my truth. All right, we're not addressing your way of thinking, your ideology at this time. Um, I pray that it does change. Um, and if if there is something that mystifies you, um, according regarding the gospel, um, please feel free uh, to 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 approach me on on that matter. Uh, maybe I can help you, um, uh, or maybe I could uh, clear some things up that that you don't actually see. Uh, just give that opportunity. Give the word a chance. Give the word of your hope a chance. Um, uh, so, like I said, you don't have to worry about me or give me a chance. Um, you know, um, I, I pray that when, when I'm on these live videos that you don't even see me for who I am, but see the word that is within me, the word that is going forth. Um, see Christ uh, living within me and, 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 and coming through and being an example for you to see. Um, and so in that, I pray that I continue um, uh, to, 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 to devote myself to the word so I can apply um, what I learn of the word. Yes, I have to go out of the box. Yes, I have to go away from tradition. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's troubling sometimes because you're alone, it seems like, because a lot of people just want to stay uh, uh, in the normal uh, lane. Um, but the word tells us to uh, enter in at the narrow gate. Um, um, you know, uh, many go into the, the 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 wide gate, but there's there's few that go and find the the narrow gate. Well, then that's where we are to enter. Um, and so um, when we really find out what the word is really revealing to us, um, that's that's how we have to apply things and, and, and apply the word to our life. Uh, but anyway, I'm um, rambling now. So uh, let's let's end this thing and then um, come together at another time. Hopefully, prayerfully, it'll be um, soon on another uh, evening that we can uh, study the word and uh, nutritionally, spiritually, nutritionally, um, be enhanced. I pray that this word has blessed you. Uh, till next time, you guys, y'all be blessed.